Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about laminar and turbulent flow. Well, these types of flow is very important in studying fluid dynamics, kaya hindi na natin patatagaling pa, let us dive into our discussion. Well, knowing the type of flow occurring in a fluid in a channel is important in fluid dynamics problems. Well, maraming dahilan kung bakit mahalaga na malaman natin kung anong type of flow ang nangyayari dito sa ating channel. And one of that is to ensure the efficiency of our hydraulic machines. At kapag pinag-usapan na yung type of flows, dyan na pumapasok yung laminar and turbulent flow. So, simulan muna nating alamin ano ba yung tinatawag nating laminar flow. So, sometimes tinatawag din itong streamline flow. Well, first, let us consider this pipe right here. Well, in a laminar flow, the fluid is traveling smoothly and in a regular path. So, let's say that this is the flow of our fluid. Okay, so it's traveling smoothly and in a regular path. Now, let us say that we have an airfoil inside our path. Now, this might serve as a disturbance for our fluid flowing inside our pipe. Let's say that our fluid is traveling in a certain velocity, no? And then it will be in contact with our airfoil here. So what will happen is that once our fluid touch with this disturbance, we will have what we call a lift in here. But then it is like parang nag slide lang ang ating fluid dito sa ating airfoil. So that's basically what happens whenever we are in laminar flow. And as you can see, it will go back again into the direction where it is been initially. So, what do we observe sa laminar flow? The fluid travels smoothly or in regular path. At low velocity, the layers of fluid seems to slide by one another without eddies or swirl present. So, pag-uusapan natin maya-maya, Kung ano ibig sabihin itong eddies? Well, in laminar flow, the velocity, pressure, and other flow properties at each point in the fluid remains constant. So, as you can see dito sa ginawa nating example, no, dito sa ating pipe, very steady yung flow ng ating fluid. So, dire-direcho lang yung takbo niya. The fluid is traveling smoothly and they are in regular paths. So, kahit meron pa tayo ditong airfoil at nagkaroon tayo ng konting disturbance, yung flow natin will eventually come back to its normal, smooth, and regular path. Now, ano naman yung tinatawag nating turbulent flow? Again, let us consider this pipe and the airfoil that we have similar to our first example. So, in here, our fluid is traveling in much higher velocity. And what happens when our fluid is in contact with a particle, what will happen is that we will lose our lift right here. The same way what will happen dito sa ating ilalim. So as you can see, it is not the same as our laminar flow right here. No? In here, nakakaroon tayo dito ng spaces kung saan dito na de-develop yung mga eddies. No? Tulad nyan. So ano nga ba tong tinatawag nating eddies? Eddies are fluid current whose flow direction differs from that of the general flow. An eddy is the swirling of a fluid and the reverse current created when the fluid is in turbulent flow regime. So as you can see, after our disturbance or our airfoil on this case, nagkaroon tayo dito ng swirling at the back. Well, that is the difference if our fluid is traveling in a much higher velocity. So what did we observe about turbulent flow? Turbulent flow is a flow in which the fluid undergoes irregular fluctuations or mixing in contrast to laminar flow. At higher velocities, eddies are present giving the fluid a fluctuating nature. Well, para mas ma-visualize natin itong ating examples, have a look at these videos. And now, in an actual pipe, have a look at this video no, para makita ninyo yung kaibahan ng laminar and turbulent flow. So, on the left side, we have here the laminar flow. 
and on the right side, this is the turbulent flow. So, makikita ninyo yung daloy ng fluid natin dito, guys. In laminar flow, mas uniform and regular pat siya. So, smooth yung pagdaloy ng ating fluid. Samantalang sa turbulent naman, um, chaotic yung takbo ng mga particles natin, no, ng, ng fluids natin. So, dito makikita nyo nakaagad yung kaibahan nilang dalawa. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga ipopost naming mga video. We also like to invite you to register sa aming website, www.engineers.org. Our website is an online community for Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Well, so this is what we observe for laminar flow. It is characterized by smooth and even flow. The fluid is moving in a single direction in layers. And there is a minimal amount of mixing between the layers. But as we increase the flow velocity, we begin to see burst of random motion. We will begin to see transition between the laminar and turbulent regime. In a turbulent flow, it is characterized by chaotic movements and contains swirling regions called eddies. The chaotic motion and eddies result significant mixing of the fluids. Well, maraming klase ng turbulent flow na makikita tayo sa ating surrounding. For example, yung flow of smoke out of the chimney at marami pang iba. Samantala, ito namang flow of blood in our blood vessel is a laminar flow. Which is a good thing because of its laminar flow, hindi mahirapan yung ating heart sa pagpapump ng mga blood. Whenever we are discussing about laminar and turbulent flow, hindi mawawala sa usapan si Osborne Reynolds. Osborne Reynolds is a British engineer, physicist, and educator best known for his work in hydraulics and hydrodynamics. The Reynolds stress in fluids with turbulent motion and the Reynolds number used for modeling in fluid flow experiments are named for him. Well, si Osborne Reynolds ang nag-conduct ng experiment about laminar and turbulent flow. So, ito yung setup na ginawa niya. So, makikita ninyo dito na gumamit siya ng glass tube para makita niya yung takbo ng fluid sa loob ng ating tube. And then, he connected a dye dito sa ating tube para ma-observe natin kung anong klaseng flow yung nangyayari kapag ini-increase natin yung velocity. And to have an actual look kung ano yung nangyari sa experiment ni Osborne Reynolds, have a look at this example. So, etong nakikita ninyo dito, yan ang ating dye. So, kanina nakita nyo, no, very straight siya because it's in laminar. And once we are increasing the velocity, may kita ninyo na unti-unti nagiging chaotic yung takbo ng ating fluid. So, yung dye natin, nakikita natin na iba't iba na yung direction ng pagtakbo niya. And this experiment of Reynolds is very important in fluid dynamics. Now, let us talk more about the laminar flow and consider this pipe once again. And now, let's say that these are our fluid particles. And we already said that in laminar flow, our fluid is traveling smoothly and on one direction path. Now, if we want to know what is the velocity distribution dito sa ating laminar flow, makikita ninyo that it is parabolic, wherein dito sa ating walls ng ating pipe, we have minimum or zero velocity. It is because of the friction na nangyayari dito sa ating wall of pipe. And then we have a continuous gradient from the wall to the center of the pipe. Now, how about for turbulent flow? Where we learned that in turbulent flow, there is a presence of chaotic eddies or swirling. Okay, so ito yun, iba't ibang direction ng ating eddies. So, let's say these are our particles. No? Now, our particles will be driven by these eddies. So, magkakaroon tayo ng iba't ibang direction dito ng ating mga particles. Okay? So, iba't iba yung magiging direction niya, unlike dito sa ating laminar flow. Now, ano naman yung magiging velocity distribution natin dito? So, makikita ninyo, meron pa rin tayo ditong gradient coming from the friction sa ating wall. But, eventually, magiging more flat ang distribution ng ating velocity. This is because in turbulent flow, there is increased mixing that result in viscous losses which are generally much higher than in those in laminar flow. So, 
With the presence of eddies and swirling, may nangyayaring mixing sa ating fluid dito. Kaya eventually, yung average velocity ng ating mga particles will create this straight line ng ating velocity distribution. Now, katulad ng example natin kanina, what if we put a disturbance, let's say a pin, dito sa ating pipe? Well, as you know, ang ating particle sa laminar flow is flowing smoothly in a straight path. Diba? Now, once our fluid hits a disturbance, magkakaroon to ng konting pagbabago sa ating direction, but eventually, we'll go back into a smooth, continuous path. And now, what will happen if we have a disturbance dito sa ating turbulent flow? Well, if our fluid has a contact with our disturbance, we will have eddies here, no? And as it goes papalayo sa ating pipe, our eddies is coming bigger and bigger. So, palaki ng palaki yung eddies natin. And you will observe this, for example, when people are smoking, okay, sa cigarette niya makikita ninyo, habang tumataas siya sa air, makikita ninyo na lumalaki yung eddies, no? Now, to visualize this more, have a look at this video. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!